I'm Nick Muir of International Forest Company. We're at the Arrowhead Seed Orchard in Hawkinsville, Georgia. Well, we're up in the top of a tree here and in, in this bag we've just removed a bag here you can see some pollen hanging on the foliage and, and one of the things we can observe here we've got uh, four current year receptive or post receptive flowers and we've got this elongation of the candle uh, so one of the issues that we deal with is that we don't want to have a bag that's uh, too short so that this elongation of the flush can be accommodated within the bag while the flowers are still receptive and uh, these flowers are uh, these conelets are from a year ago and they're going to grow in uh, the period of time between now and july and will be harvestable with mature seeds in october of this year my name is doug sharp i'm the coo of international forest company we're here, here at one of our seed orchards we work in and we're doing cmp control mass pollination we've been using uh, cmp bags for the majority of our control mass pollination in the last two years we're planning on continuing to use those in a larger quantity. Uh, we really like PBS because the speed that the bag goes up, uh, the flower retention and the conelet yield and seed yield that we get from this product. Um, I like working with PBS. They seem to really care about their customers' needs and they're able to design a bag to fit our needs at a very economical rate. at some flowers on a lovely pine tree that have been bagged and pollinated twice and, and they've just recently been bagged that been debagged you can see the flowers that were inside bags have got a green color the scales on the conelet are now swished upwards these flowers are no longer receptive and one of the things we look at really keenly is 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 there being damaged to the the tender flowers while inside the bag i don't observe any damage to the flowers here or here and so that's been a great pollinating environment. <laughs> 